Hello, Sean. Here we are. Um, just finished another, uh, the third session in the series today. And today we talked about team cohesion is crucial to any executive's effectiveness. And we split that into three areas. And firstly, we looked at, you know, the circumstances are attacking all our assumptions as working as a team with zooming everything. You know, what did you think to what we talked about there? Yeah, and look, um, what was interesting, you know, we talked in the, our first session about the individual, and then we talked about the system, and the team falls between the two. Yes. And um, so we kept wobbling around between the personal yeah. experience of the whole process and the the organisational experience, and it's the team. So, um, yeah, one of the uh, one of the correspondents said that, that they acted like an ombudsman um, yeah. in translating the hard-edged goals into something that people would feel like they wanted to do because they, they were cared for. Yeah. So caring is actually a lens through which you can look at all of this. Yeah, that's right. And then we talked about respect versus contempt, didn't we? And this idea of professional ruthlessness. Sharp professionalism is a better Sharp, phrase yeah. than yeah. ruthless professionalism. But it, the, it carries the idea that, for example, if you're, if you're the finance function, providing frictionless, effective systems that you're ruthless about the standards of is, is how you care. For the organization how you enable the organization to care yeah. um, and but also between members of the executive is so crucial that there's respect uh, reaching out rather than um, competition and contempt yeah and then i think we just thought about a path forward and, and you know pulling that together what, what, what were your thoughts about the path forward well i was suggesting that you know um we tend to think of caring as something that's kind of a nice to have after you've started doing all the hard stuff but more and more it's becoming clear that caring is the cause that enables leadership to happen so it's the other way around and so caring enables clarity so you can think straight when you're under stress yeah. and we need to think straight because we've got to design new ways of doing things and we've got to design new ways to actually even talk to each other through zoom or whatever so um and it became obvious also that the whole team has to shift because the challenge has shifted and that's quite difficult and it's only going to work if you're looking after each other not as a sort of passive thing but actually inquiring and doing things for each other and are you are you optimistic about caring being a fundamental part of leadership going forward well i, I think it's happening i think it's just it's, it's distinguishing between old school yeah. you know coercive um, uh, military almost um, models of leadership and the um, synergistic, highly efficient way that you lead when you care. Yeah, fantastic. Well, it was a fabulous session again, so thanks again. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Yeah. It was great.